about this player. Right. Okay. Win total is at five and a half. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your reaction to the, either the video game thing? Yeah, not how video games work, thing. but I'll set that aside. That's fine. Um, man, I, as, I try to be a confident fellow. Mm. I've sometimes been called overconfident. Well, I aspire to have the confidence of Sean Payton, man. I mean, <laughs> there a lot of checks once again being written, like this time last year. And last year, all the checks bounced. And in fact, one of them had an $87 million overdraft fee in the term of Russell Wilson's dead money. So, we'll see if this one goes differently. What I will tell you is this. If Brew is correct, and Brew's not the only one, that Russell Wilson is going to be more than serviceable for a potential above 500, maybe fringe playoff team Steelers, that doesn't look great for Sean Payton. And if, well, to be light about it, the entire football world's correct that Bo Nix wasn't a first-round pick and 12 <laughs> was crazy, that's not going to look great for Sean Payton. So we'll see. I First off, he's making up nonsense right off the bat. Right off the bat, he's making up nonsense because the entire football world doesn't say that Bo Nix is not good. So I don't know what he's talking about. That's nonsense right there, number one. Number two... He got Russell, Russell Wilson out of there. That doesn't, that was the right move. That was the right move for the bigger picture for the Denver Broncos. He's not saying that Russ is an absolute disaster and can't do anything and is a bust, right? Obviously, he can't be a bust when he's played this long, but is essentially like a bust. Get him out of here. He's awful. We can only win one game with him. Get him out of there. That's not what he's saying, okay? So if Russ now goes and plays pretty well, that doesn't mean that it was the wrong move. Not to mention, you could make the argument that the Steelers are in a better position to have a, a quicker path to success than a Bo Nix in the Denver Broncos, especially because of the Russell Wilson um, you know, uh, contract and all of that. Alex Smith left the, left the Chiefs and was still able to play well. You know, he obviously got injured, but play well, good enough. Does that mean that the Kansas City Chiefs were wrong to move on from Alex Smith and get Patrick Mahomes? Does that bode poorly for them? What if they moved on from Alex Smith, traded him, got rid of him, and he started right away and played somewhere else that first season, and Patrick Mahomes played his rookie year? There's a great chance, a great chance that Alex Smith plays really good, really well, especially depending on what team he goes to, wins some games, and does way better than what Patrick Mahomes would have done his rookie season. Okay? Does that mean that it would have been a, the wrong move and it would look terrible for Andy Reid? Not at all. So stop with that nonsense. I think that Sean Payton's Broncos tenure thus far has been rocky. And I think that oh, he – now, they did win eight games, and they had won five the year before, so you give credit for that. And there's the – and they rebounded from the 70-piece they gave up. I, so, I'm trying to be fair. But – You're not being fair. He was brought there to fix the quarterback situation. And they gave a quarterback close to $90 million to go away. And then, in my opinion and others, they massively overdrafted – a quarterback that is, you know, past the age most NFL players retire when entering the league. And so I think those are question marks, and so we'll see. That's what I would say. Well, look, it was interesting that he said, and he was playing around with the media, having fun. He was in a good mood, apparently. But that as I've gotten older, I've stopped using mm -hmm. the middle fingers. Mm -hmm. It was just a year ago that he basically was yeah. throwing middle fingers at everybody. So I'm not buying that. And look, his legacy is not on the line. No. But we are in a what have you done for me lately world. All right. All right? And I do think it's kind of like Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, nobody can take away from him that he was a great quarterback. But because of what he's done these last two years, people look at him kind of, huh? You know, and, and that's where Peyton's at right now. He was great, and he left New Orleans with a phenomenal legacy and reputation mm -hmm. all right but if he keeps losing in denver people just start you just start digging well, he did have the three seven and nine seasons with the hall of fame quarterback eh, there was that bounty gate thing you know there you just start looking at things a little bit differently again right. mike shanahan failed in washington so it wasn't ruin what peyton did in new orleans 
but he should have a chip on his shoulder because thus far he is failing. So okay, he has not been failing. He hasn't been the Denver Broncos coach for seven years. Like, what are we talking about? He went to a like a not a, a not good team, a team that was obviously not that good, that was a disaster with uh, Nathaniel Hackett. He had to do a lot to bring that program back from the brink, right? Bring the Broncos back from just uh, essentially a collapse. He did get them to eight wins, which is great. He did do it with a quarterback that a lot of people think is washed. So that's what's, that's what's funny because Nick is now saying, well, a lot of people believe this and a lot of people believe that. A lot of people believe that Russell Wilson is not that good of a quarterback anymore. Nick Wright himself included. He literally thinks that Justin Fields is going to be the starting quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers over Russell Wilson. So you tell me if Justin Fields is going to beat out Russell Wilson, why do you think Russell Wilson should be the starting quarterback for the Denver Broncos? Make that make sense. You can't make it make sense. You only want to say that because you want to talk bad about the Broncos, about Sean Payne and Bo Nix. And that also now brings me back to Bo Nix. This, this just hatred for Bo Nix and thinking that he's just a bum and a scrub is so insane to me. Please tell me why you possibly think Bo Nix will not be good with Sean Payne. Bo Nix can have great success with Sean Payton. They are going to play very fundamentally sound football. That's what they're going to do. They're not going to be all fancy and crazy and doing a little bit of this and doing a little bit of that. And we're going to have a little bit of Patrick Mahomes and a little, you know, Josh Allen and a little bit of Tom. They're just going to play fundamental football, textbook football right? I, 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 I see it. Like It's just going to be Bo Nix and Sean Payne, and it's going to be a masterclass of the fundamentals. It's not going to blow people out of the water. It's not going to be top 10, oh my god, did you see what Bo Nix and the Denver Broncos did the other night? But it's going to be consistent. It's going to be a, a confident form of football. It's going to be winning football, most importantly. That's what you're going to get with Bo Nix and Sean Payne. That's why Sean Payne wanted Bo Nix. Otherwise, he wouldn't because he couldn't do that with Russ. He was trying to do that with Russ. He wanted Russ to make the easy reads, to make the easy decisions. And Russ was failing to do that. That's why Bo, uh, That's why uh, Sean Payton was just beside himself. Because he was just like, can we just do one plus one equals two? If you can't do one plus one equals two, you can't play football for me. And that's why he was so successful with Drew Brees. Obviously, Drew Brees is an all-time great. Obviously, Drew Brees also has some tape that you're just like, oh my God, do you see, can you believe that? But there's a reason why Drew Brees was able to be so successful at a smaller size. Because he just did the fundamentals correctly. He minimized mistakes. He just did what was asked for him. He didn't do all the magical, wild, insane, oh my God, I can't believe what I just saw. Again, to a degree that exists, especially when you play as long as and, and as great as, as Drew Brees, but that's not really what made Drew Brees great. Just like Tom Brady. Tom Brady, again, like when we live in a world of the Patrick Mahomes and the Josh Allens and, and, and where you're just like your eyeballs fall out of your head, but you forget and also... Let me remember things like when people want to remember what Tom Brady did even or even Eli Manning. Eli Manning, I think, is a great example of this. People talk about some of the plays that Eli Manning made, especially like in the Super Bowl runs and stuff like that. Some of these wild throws. Watch some of the highlights of the Super Bowl and Eli Manning looks like Patrick Mahomes, literally looks like Patrick Mahomes. But that's not what made Eli Manning a starting quarterback for year after year after year after year after year. It was consistency, consistency, doing the fundamentals it's what how Eli Manning made a career it's how Peyton Manning made a career it's how Tom Brady made himself a career when he come when Tom Brady comes back from all you know from being down and you know no lead is safe with Tom especially in his prime it wasn't because of his magicalness of scrambling and and making these insane throws that no one else in the world could make it was just the consistency it was the calmness the confidence the collectedness that is what Sean Payton is looking to do with uh, Bo Nix. 
It's what Shanahan did with Jimmy Garoppolo, with Brock Purdy, especially early in Brock Purdy's career. I know Brock Purdy is starting to kind of grow his toolbox a little bit, especially uh, most recently in, against the Packers and against uh, the Detroit Lions. But for the most part, it's just simple fundamental football and it's why trey lance got pushed out the door because it was like you can't do that you can't do the fundamental aspects and that's where sean payton was struggling with russell wilson so this idea that bo nix is just a scrub and a disaster for sean payton and the denver broncos i wholeheartedly reject this idea that if russ has some success with the pittsburgh steelers that now nick wants to highlight when before he was saying that justin fields is going to be the starter is insane to me and so it's just absurd russ could go off and win 10 games with the steelers they have a good defense their offense should be should, should be pretty legit and i think their coordinator their new coordinator will be um should be able to make some moves with uh with russell wilson or justin fields for that matter the broncos they they have a lot of mess re- you know a, a lot of mess management i want to call it right like they have to rebuild they have to do a lot of things they were bogged down by a terrible contract right? Like that's all a real thing. Now they do have a rookie quarterback. What are we expecting? Is it now, is it now like Bo Nix and the Denver Broncos have to ball out and win 12 games for it to be a success? That's insane. That's insane. We already know Patrick Mahomes didn't even start his first year. So it's just, it's just absurd. Like what are the expectations here? And why are they so much higher for Sean Payton than anyone else? Anyone else? doesn't make any sense to me he actually improved the broncos the broncos were like a five-win team he got them to eight he was actually fighting for a playoff spot quite frankly and yet that's seen as a failure and 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 he wanted to move on from russ and that's seen as a failure makes no sense to me no wonder why he said what he said but those are just my thoughts i would absolutely love to hear yours what do you guys all think about Nick's opinion on Sean Payton being a failure and too confident and Bo Nix being a terrible quarterback and Russ apparently is going to be a you know the MVP and Super Bowl MVP with the Pittsburgh Steelers let me know in the comments below I read every single comment so whether you agree with me or disagree with me either way let's get in some discussions let's get in some fights but ultimately let's just have some fun and please do consider subscribing we are building an amazing community here and I would absolutely love to see you part of it I'm going to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of, and I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.